Yeah, the patient made it. I called in a special surgeon. I see, and the cause of it all? Could it be an epidemic? I can't say. Like you, I'm getting a bad feeling here. We need to look into this as soon as possible, then. Yeah, you're right. Gabe? You sound tired. Did something else happen? Nah, it's... it's nothing. I've, I've just been fed up with myself lately. What's wrong? You don't seem like your usual self. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Anyways, try and get over here as soon as possible. Well, all right. Gabe, you there? Of course I am. Some of us can't loaf around on the job. How sweet. I'm gonna let that one slide. Your patient's being discharged today, but she wants to see you. The lady with Kaposi's? I wasn't the one who saved her. If she wants to talk to someone, call her surgeon. Oh, hell no! That guy is a serious asshole! Uh, whatever. I don't plan on going down there either. Anything else? Uh, yeah. There's one more thing. We're understaffed, and the Chief wants you to take this one. Is that all? Well, give it here. But the patient's... Joshua? Well, if you don't want to, I can ask another doctor. <laughs> what kind of doctor would I be if I chose my patients? Roni. Let's start the diagnosis. Bring up the charts. Yes, Doctor. The patient's name is Joshua Cunningham. He is related to you by blood, Doctor. Is there a problem? Negative. But I can request a new doctor if you prefer. I'll be fine. Man, I really programmed you well. I must take into account the feelings of those around me. Observing colleagues allows me to gather their emotional data. Yeah, you're perfect. Now you just need to learn how to talk. Oh, hello. You're a new doctor. Yeah. Hello, Joshua. Um, doctor, I don't hurt at all. Wh that can't be. I received a report from your nurse. That's weird. I'm all right, really. Hmm. Well, let's check you out. If I can't find anything, I'll let you go back to your room. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm sorry, doctor. Roni, I'm beginning the diagnosis. Are you ready? Yes, doctor. You may proceed. Huh? I feel fine. I clean my plate? And I don't hurt at all. I'm just here because the nurse said I had to be examined. But I feel just fine. You think maybe she mistook me for some other kid? Oh, but don't blame her. She's real nice. She's always worried about me and does a lot. I wonder, maybe I did something bad. She was really worried about me. really does seem to be fine. Huh? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with me. Well, all right. But just to be safe, let's finish examining you. Thank you. 
there, Joshua. How are you feeling? Oh, doctor. I'm totally okay. Hmm. Is that so? Well, let's keep going with the diagnosis. symptom I can find. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just a cough. Huh? That looked rather strenuous. But it's just a cough? Roni, the patient's hiding something. I'm continuing the exam. Understood. Proceeding with the diagnosis examination. Like it hurt? Oh, come on, not you too, Doc. I'm fine, see? I'm totally fine. Can't I go back to my room yet? Hmm, his heart rate's increased. Is this a symptom? Roni, record this. I think this is a definite sign. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Increased heart rate. The boy's breathing pretty rapidly. Roni, make a note of it. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Rapid breathing. It seems that earlier attack is causing symptoms to appear. <coughs> there it is again. There's no mistake about it. Hmm? Hey, show me the hand you covered your mouth with right now. Huh? It's nothing. Jeez, this kid's gonna try and hide as much as he can from me, huh? I need to see what's on his hand. Hmm. I need to get him to use his hands. What can I do? clothes. He still had blood on his hand when he lifted his clothes up. The boy coughed up blood a moment ago, and he tried to hide it. Roni, make a note that the patient has hematemesis. Understood, doctor. New symptom observed. Hematemesis. Kid, why are you trying to hide your symptoms from me? Huh? Well, why would you say that? I know you coughed up blood earlier. It's on your clothing. Oh. <laughs> it's just some blood. I'm full of the stuff. I'm fine. <sighs> Seriously, who do you inherit this attitude from? Well, we're done talking. I need you to undergo a few tests for me. Roni? Get approval for an x-ray. Yes, Doctor. The x-ray examination is now available. Doctor, the x 
X-rays are ready for viewing. All right, we need to be thorough here. Can't miss anything. There's a cave-in in the gastric wall. The contrast medium has settled in it. Well, this is definitely proof. You can't make excuses anymore. New symptom observed. Cave-in gastric wall. I have proof that there's something wrong with your stomach. You ready to talk now? <sighs> My tummy hurts once in a while, but that's it. Hmm. So he does have stomach aches. What an idiot. I bet they hurt a whole lot too. Well, Roni, he's finally coming clean with us. You writing all this down? Yes, sir. New symptom observed. Stomach ache. Yeah, I don't feel like eating when it hurts. What's wrong with that? You don't feel like eating, huh? Well, given your stomach's condition, I'm not surprised. Roni, make a note. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Lack of action. Keeps making a fuss about it, but it's nothing, really. Doctor, I'm okay. Seriously. All right. Now, is there anything else you're hiding? This is your chance. I I'm not hiding anything. I really am okay. Man, a little runt. Time to go back to the office and continue with the diagnosis. We have at least a few symptoms to work with, Roni. Let's start narrowing things down. Understood, Doctor. Displaying diagnosis candidates. Is it a gastric ulcer? That's hot. 
Joshua already had endoscopic surgery recently. There's got to be a reason for the relapse. Roni, let's continue with the diagnosis. Yes, Doctor. Sending the request to continue diagnosis. Something's wrong. The ulcers have returned. I anticipate there is an underlying disease, Doctor. Yeah, I just hope there's no other complications. That would be very beneficial, Doctor. Should we begin? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. You're having a relapse of gastric ulcers, which I'm guessing hurts. A lot. Why do you keep trying to hide your symptoms from me? Th there's nothing wrong with me. I really didn't notice it. Just stop it. There's no way you're all right. <sighs> now listen to me. I don't know why you're pretending to be fine, and I don't care why. But the more you keep this up, the more you make everyone around you worry about you. But... Whoa, there's no need to explain. If you don't want to talk about it, then that's fine. I've gotten permission from Lisa. Uh, I, I mean your mother, already. Roni, get the examinations ready. Understood. Doctor, please calm down. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Sorry. The X-ray, CT, and analysis exams are now available. Serum amylase seems unusually high. Roni, add that to our list. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High serum amylase level. The serum lipase level is a bit higher than I'd like it to be. Roni, record that. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High serum lipase level. His elastase level is elevated. Brownie, you got that? Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High elastase level. Take a look at it. Hmm. There's an abnormal break in the bowel gas. Roni, record that. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Abnormal bowel gas in intestine.
pretty thin layer of fat. Is it possible this disease has been ongoing? Doctor, I would like to remind you that it is still within the normal range. I know. I just want to cure him before he gets any thinner. I agree, Doctor. Let's continue with the diagnosis. Roni, make a note of it. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Swollen pancreas. Hmm. We've got a lot more to go off of now. Doctor, we need the patient's cooperation for any further examinations. Yeah, you're right. I should try talking to him again. I may have been a bit harsh earlier. I wasn't being professional. But you also... Doctor. I, I know. <clears throat> Just be quiet. Anyways, I want to cure you completely. And everyone is worried about you. Uh... Joshua, will you please cooperate with the exams? Sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, it, uh, it's all right. D don't don't cry. But it's all my fault. I didn't want my mom or that nurse to worry about me. Uh, Joshua, I'm really sorry. I just made everyone worry even more. I I won't hide anything anymore. I want to get out of this hospital, so please. Yeah, I understand. Um, actually my tummy feels a little weird. Can you check it out, doctor? Of course. Leave it to me. Roni, are you ready? Yes, doctor. I am fully prepared. All right, let's continue the exam. <laughs> Hemorrhaging spots on the left side of his abdomen. Roni, put that in his record. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Blood spots on left of abdomen. Hemorrhaging spots near the navel. Roni, write that down. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Blood spots near navel. Um, I'm sorry that I lied all this time. It's not just my tummy. My back's been starting to hurt too. Back pains. His condition must be getting worse. 
Roni, make a note. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Back pains. It doesn't hurt so much that I can't bear it, but it hurts a lot. Also, I don't feel well. I feel like I'm gonna throw up any minute. Um, if there's anything more, I'll tell you right away, Doctor. He feels like he's going to vomit, huh? Sounds like he's finally telling the truth about something. Roni, this is important. New symptom observed. Nausea. Well, we have his symptoms. Roni, let's narrow down our diagnosis. Understood, Doctor. I'll get things ready for you. But I find it hard to believe this could have caused the relapse of his gastric ulcers. Damn it. There's still something else. Roni, I'm continuing with the diagnosis. We're not done yet. Indeed, Doctor. I will follow your lead. Acute pancreatitis? That can't be the primary disease. It is plausible the chief illness caused it, like the ulcers. What's going on? We can only hope our examination will answer that, Doctor. <sighs> yeah. I hate dealing with all these complications. Um, so have you figured out what's wrong with me, Doctor? It's going to take a little longer. We need to keep examining you. But is your body all right? It still hurts a little, but you're gonna fix me soon, right? That's right. Hang in there. But if it gets too much to handle, you tell us right away, okay? Okay, I promise. All right, let's resume with the diagnosis. Anything else that's weird? Um, uh, huh? uh, I'm not hiding anything anymore. I started getting real thirsty. I've been going to the bathroom a lot too. I see. This is polydipsia and polyuria. It's small, but it's crucial. Roni, make a note. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. 
polydipsia, and polyuria. Ah, uh, that's it. Is that important? It's <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Blood calcium is way past the average levels. Roni, you got that one? Yes, doctor. New symptom observed. High blood calcium level. The serum phosphorus level is abnormally low. Roni, another piece of the puzzle. Understood, doctor. New symptom observed. Low serum phosphorus level. Yep, abnormally high PRL blood level. Roni, mark it down. Understood, doctor. New symptom observed. High PRL blood level. Serum gastrin level seems unusually high. Roni, record that. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High serum gastrin level. Intact PTH is showing some very high levels. Roni, put it in his chart. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High intact PTH level. What in the heck? A number of abnormal levels have suddenly appeared. The cause is unknown, but the analysis is at least 97% reliable. I know. That's why I'm worried. Let's go back to my office. I need to sort through the latest data. Now, time to narrow down our candidates and see if we can't find the culprit. Thyroidism seems to be the closest match, right? Scintigraphy and X-ray examinations will be necessary to make a definitive diagnosis. Hmm. Well then let's get approval right away. Understood, Doctor. Request has been approved. The X-ray and scintigraphy exams are now available. Scintigraphy results are ready for your review. Sounds good. Let's get to it then.
showing abnormal accumulation of technetium in the parathyroid gland. There's no mistaking it. That's parathyroid adenoma. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Parathyroid adenoma. Bones in his fingers have gotten thinner. His bone resorption must be advancing. Roni, add this to our list. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Subperiosteal bone resorption. It's pretty clear that hyperparathyroidism is set in. But what about the symptoms that don't apply? Doctor, until the primary disease has been identified, we must continue the diagnosis. Yeah, no turning back now. We need to figure this thing out. Joshua, are you all right? Huh? Oh, when did you come in, Doctor? You didn't notice? Uh, uh something's weird. It's like I can't see very well. You can't see very well? Can you tell me more? Uh huh? Okay. I really didn't see you come in, Doctor. I mean, it's weird, right? The door's right there. I made a mistake. But I totally didn't see when you came in. And my head hurts too. But I'll keep trying to help you, Doctor. Hmm. He must be undergoing a visual field loss. Joshua, where is it hard to see? Is it the right and left edges of your eyes? right and left. Just as I thought. It could be in the eyes. It could be in the brain. We need to do an MRI. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Visual field loss. And the MRI exam is now available. Stomach aches, back pains, and now headaches. This has to be hard on him. I need to find the answer quickly. New symptom observed. Headaches. for your review. All right, let's check him right away.
sulcus here on the brain is quite deep. This proves he's a pretty smart kid. He inherited that from me, no doubt. We should focus on the diagnosis, Doctor. And for the record, no definite link between sulci death and intelligence level has ever been proven. <sighs> Go ahead and drag your muddy feet all over my dreams. Pituitary gland tumor. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Tumor shadow on pituitary gland. Symptoms seem to point to pituitary adenoma? First, the parathyroid gland, now the pituitary gland. Damn it, what in the world? Doctor, I have located one case in the archives which matches this scenario. What? I didn't tell you to do that. How'd you? I applied the to hell with that algorithm recently entered into my registry and made a judgment call. Huh? <laughs> The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, huh? Even a robo-apple. Now this is the kind of partner a doctor should have at his side. Yes, Doctor. I have indeed been designated as your partner. But the news is not good. This is a disease where the probability of onset is 1 in 10,000. Uh, where is it? Show me the data immediately. Yes, Doctor. I have added this diagnosis candidate to your database. Got it. of this match is roughly 73%. To verify this, we need to check for pancreatic tumors. Roni, order a CT scan so I can examine the patient's pancreas. Dr. Cunningham, should I also request that the patient be assigned to another doctor? Don't make me repeat myself. I don't pick and choose my patients. I'm a diagnostician. Find the symptoms, I diagnose the disease. That's all there is to it. Understood. The CT examination is now available. The CT examination results are ready for you to check. That's good. Let's see them.
What's that? These shadows look like pancreatic tumors, all right. Roni, I need to make sure of this. Collate it with the case data. Understood. Now collating. Nine matches with previous cases confirmed. These are pancreatic tumors. I see. <laughs> yeah, I think for once, I'm not so excited about your accuracy. New symptom observed. Tumor shadows on the pancreas. dealt with it once. If his condition worsens any more... Damn it! This is bad, Gabe. Joshua's only getting worse. It's warmer syndrome. He's going into septic shock. I'll leave the treatment to the other staff. Joshua's your son! Get over there and go see him! Me going there won't change anything. I gave my diagnosis. The rest is up to you guys. Huh? You are an absolute disgrace! You are incorrect, Dr. Cunningham. What? I observed tension in your vocal cords just now. Your words are not congruous with your true feelings. And? And? What? You mean you can tell everything about me? Am I that wrong? Is everything my fault? I can't make him happy as a father. I can't use a scalpel and save him myself. Nothing I could do! Nothing, damn it! <laughs> it was all pointless. Everything. Hey, Roni. You know what? I'm the worst father out there. What do you know? You're right? I can't believe a machine talks some sense into me. Roni, get ready for surgery. Contact the ERN nursing. The operation can begin in five minutes. I won't let Joshua die. As a doctor, or as his father. Let's go. 